Hey guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about different methods that we can use with Python class. So let's create a simple Python class. Let's create a class for employee and let's have a dunder init method. And for the employee class, let's use first name and last name. And then we will initialize the first name and last name for the instance or the object and let's also create a class variable for the company name and let's have the company name as YouTube so we just created a class for employee for the company YouTube and we have this first name and last name as the instance variables and this company is the class variable. Now when we talk about methods in Python class, the most commonly used method is instance method or they are also called as regular methods. So the instance method takes the object as the first argument as we can see in this dunder init method as well we have this self as the first parameter and as you know this self represents the object or the instance of the class so we can say that this dunder init method is also an instance method because it takes self or it takes instance as the first parameter of this object now if you want to create another instance method then we can do let's say get email method and since we are going to create an instance method we have to give this self as the first parameter which indicates the object now from this instance method we can return the email address for the object so we can return let's use f string and for the email we can use the first name dot last name at the rate and we can use this company name as the domain so at the rate employee dot company dot com okay so let's try to use this instance method so first we need to create an object for this employee class so let's say employee one equals employee let's create John as the first name and the last name would be Smith okay now since this employee one is the object of this class we can use this get email method using this employee one object so we can do print employee one dot get email now when we call this get email method from this employee one this self will take the value employee one so it will return employee one dot first name dot employee one dot last name at the rate employee dot company dot com so we should get john dot smith at the rate youtube dot com so let's try to print this okay so we got john dot smith at the rate youtube dot com so we created an email address for this John employee so this is instance method because it takes the instance as its first parameter now let's see an example of class method now just like the instance method takes the instance as its first parameter the class method takes the class as its first parameter so let's say we want to change the company name then we can do change company and instead of this self we have to make it class so CLS so class will be the first parameter in the class method and actually we can use any name for this so it's not compulsory to use this CLS as its first parameter we can give any name but the convention is to use CLS for class 
and in this method since we are changing the company name we have to give new name so let's say new name as its second parameter and to use this method as class method we have to declare it as a class method that we can do using a decorator so on top of this method we have to use decorator using at the rate class method so now we have declared this method as the class method now inside this method we can change the company name so we will say class dot company equals new name now earlier when we called this get email method this was an instance method so we call this using the instance that is employee one but this change company is the class method so we have to call this method with the class name so instead of using this employee one we will call it using employee dot change company and this CLS will take the value employee and now we have to give one more argument for this new name parameter and now let's say we want to change the company name from YouTube to Google so let's say Google now earlier when we called this get email method from employee one it returned John dot Smith at the rate youtube.com but now before calling this get email method we are calling this change company method which is a class method and we change the company name from YouTube into Google so now when we call this get email method it should return John dot Smith at the rate google.com so let's try to print this and as you can see since we change the company name into Google using the class method we are receiving John dot Smith at the rate google.com so this one is the instance method and this one is the class method now we have one more method in Python class and that is called static method so in the instance method we are taking instance as the first parameter in the class method we are taking class as the first parameter but in the static method we don't have to take either class or instance as the first parameter we can just create a method without a class or instance as its parameter so let's create a static method so let's say static method so we don't have to put any arguments here neither self or class and we can just print this is a static method now just like we use this class method decorator for class method we also have to use static method decorator to define this as a static method so we have to say at the rate static method and now it is viewed as the static method in the instance method inside the instance method we use this self to access different variables inside class method we use class or CLS to access the variable but in the static method we don't have self or CLS so we cannot use these parameters to access different variables and we can just call this static method using the class name or the object name so we can use employee dot static method or we can also use employee one dot static method so let's comment this print function and let's call this static method using the class name and object name so this should print this is a static method twice so let's run this okay so we got this is a static method from the class and from the object okay so in this video we learned about different methods that we can use in Python class they are instance method class method and static method we will learn more about class and objects in the next lesson so that's gonna do it for this video I'll see you soon with the next video till then keep learning goodbye